Today we're in the Plovdiv region. We're going to Asenovgrad. Stravetti Priyateli. Welcome back to A Taste of Bulgaria. It's me, Gareth. And we've got another episode today. We are in Asenovgrad. I'm here with my friend Norman Wolf. He's also a chef. Uh, he's going to show us around the center of Grad today. If take will be brought us right now. We're yeah, um, actually we are outside of a center of Grad, and we are here on the way to. Um, we're going to the wonderful bridges where I bring you today. Right. And we are here in uh, Yugoski Khan. It's the name. It's a very nice place, as you see. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's one of the best places where you can uh, Shkimbejo bar. Well, so it's gonna be your first Shkimbejo yeah, bar from Gary today. Before, so and try that yeah, we are having a beer from Jägerho from Plovdiv. Yeah, it's also very nice beer. I think it's uh, one okay. of the best beers in Bulgaria. Right, nice. They make it all by themselves. And it's uh, made here in yeah. uh, this region. Yeah, it's yeah. made in Plovdiv. In Plovdiv. Plovdiv. So Asenovgrad is actually in the Plovdiv region, just outside of uh, Plovdiv. Yes, 16 uh, kilometers away from Plovdiv is Asenovgrad. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, Plovdiv is the second biggest town in, in Bulgaria, yeah. and you have a lot of uh, restaurants there and stuff. And uh, yeah, I was also actually working there in one restaurant. A few people they know, they can see it on my Facebook where I was yeah. working. I don't want to make some. Yes, oh, Chikimbejo bar. That's great. <coughs> and uh, yeah, we ordered Chikimbejo bar, and we ordered also Perlinka. We had a quite a, a tough night last night we were drinking red wine my homemade red wine from uh, what i made till two o'clock in the morning and now it's already 12 o'clock uh, so, now we're so we have a little bit uh, after hangover soup is yeah. the shkimbejo bar right. and you have here also you have the garlic garlic in there yeah you put that in which is normally garlic it's uh, with um with uh, vinegar vinegar yeah it's uh, you put a little bit of this this is to cut through the fat the uh, the belly yes shkembe cholba is actually um, beef stomach soup yeah yeah, yeah it's uh, I will show you now and this is also the chili I mean if you like it hot be careful I like it really hot you know yeah. and yeah I will show the people it's uh, what, what what's the name in English of these things actually tripe tripe yes tripe is it's, the name that's, that's the, the, the tripe soup really um, Bulgarian tradition here from the Rodope mountains and it's it's not easy to make and a lot of there's a lot of people they can't make it right. properly but this place here they know how to make they it, know how to make it well, yes I'm really to it. Here comes <coughs> yeah here's our our waitress okay so this is the Perlinki this is Perlinka Perlinka is the single it's with, uh, you can see it's with uh, the white cheese seared in the inside oh, and it has also kashkawal inside amazing yeah and I can smell a little bit of chubber on the yes, top, I think. Yes, yes, no? yes. Yeah. Okay, so first time with the uh, Shkembe Cholba, let's have a go. It's really nice. No, I do like that, actually, that's really nice. Petia doesn't like this. Yeah, it's one of the only things that she doesn't like, but it's, yeah, it's nice. I love it. It's a very strong taste. So cheers for that. Thank you for yes. showing us around. Yeah, today. of course. We're not. It's just just the beginning from today. So the plan is also we go today. I will bring Gary to the wonderful bridges, which is a really um, energy ener energetic place in the world. That's it's full with energy. I've heard a lot about. This yes, it's full with energy. How long now? You you say you've been here in Bulgaria. Ten years. Ten years, and you, you're married to a Bulgarian. Correct? Yes. Yeah. And how did you meet, actually? Oh, uh, we met in Portugal. In Portugal. We met in Portugal, and then after Portugal. One German met a Bulgarian in Portugal. What a story. Yes. So we met in Portugal, and then after, Portu yes. Yes. So Portugal, <laughs> yes. so we, in Portugal we were living in the Algarve, in Tavira. We also a very nice place. And uh, yeah, after this, we lived four years in Spain, where my son is actually also born in Spain. Uh -huh. And yeah, we decided, we, we came here 2007 for holidays. And I just loved it. She said to me, my wife said to me, okay, you're going to be in a cultural shock or something. But I loved it. You loved it. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. And yeah, one day she just said to me, she wants to move here. And we moved here. So now so I... all the time you've been in a Senap Grad for 10 years? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. So what, 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 what things have you got here in a Senap Grad that people can come and visit? You get everything. I mean, you, if you, you see the nature. The wonderful nature, yes. I think, yeah? Yes, Sorry. and Asenovka is also 
It's a uh, actually Arsenoka is also famous in the summer. You have always wind there, right. so if it's really hot, yeah. you have always a breeze, a breeze coming, coming from from the mountains. Nice. And Arsenoka is famous for this because it's the only place in Bulgaria where you have this breeze. Yeah. So it's never getting like really really hot. <laughs> you always have this breeze. Right. I mean, we had hot summers. Yes. But the breeze can help yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you see, we drove now like how many minutes we drove. We, we just drove 20 minutes, yeah. and we are here in the middle of the Rodope Mountains. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> so nature. What else have we got? They've got some. Um, some I'm sure great. Some great B and Bs. Yeah, we have hotels. Yeah. Yes, yes. And and do you do you know the prices of any of this? Yeah, normally I mean, the prices for double room they're yeah. around from 40 to 60 level. I mean, it's uh, 40 to 60 level is like 20 to 30 euros. Oh. For night, night, you know. Yeah, and this is really. And great. you get you get also your breakfast there. Uh, no, <clears throat> my mother, and my father, they were here from Germany, yep. and they went. They they were, they stayed in a place, and they made them breakfast there and everything, and they paid uh, f like 20, 30 euros a night, and they had jacuzzi in in the room, they had. Uh, uh, bath right. right really nice and the room was very big like i mean what else we have also a lot of churches in azenovgrad azenovgrad is, is famous also for the churches i don't know how exactly how much they are but right. i think in wikipedia has written something like 140 churches right so well over 100 let's say. yes tomorrow, tomorrow you're going to take us to uh, sveti dimit Dimitar, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sweti Dimitar, and then we go walk from Sweti Dimitar, we go to Asen of Krepos. Oh, the fortress, the big the fortress. fortress that yeah, from, knows from about. Tsarasen. Tsarasen, yeah. From Tsarasen. Yeah. I think it was the Byzantine Empire. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. You know my wife, she's normally a history teacher, ah. and if I say something wrong now, <laughs> yeah, <it's>, uh, <laughs> it will not come good. Better to be safe, better, yeah. to, be, better to play safe, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're going to find out, we're going to let you know. Yeah, this can be uh, for the for the hangover. You know, you just feel it. Yeah, feeling fresh again. Yeah, it's a very it's traditional place. It's beautiful. It's really yes, nice. Yes, it is. It's really and it's uh, not so expensive as well. No, we'll give you a little uh, look at the menu. We'll show the menu and the prices for you. Yeah, uh, you should definitely consider coming out of here. We're going to also leave a. Um, I'll show you on the map. I'll make a little map for you. Uh, put a point on the map of where this place is and you can come and try yourself if you've never tried uh, Shkembe Choba then definitely consider it I want to show you also this is real Rodope Mountain uh, beans. beans you see the beautiful color they have yeah they are all I mean, this is bio, you know, this yeah. is really bio and ecological. Yeah. A lot of people, they ask me why I'm living here. This is one of the reasons, because I know there's no, no, um, preservatives, no additives. Nothing. It's just all natural it's stuff. It's just natural and made from the grandmas. I mean, check these colors. Later, when we come back, I'll actually buy always some beans here. And yeah. this is also, look, look, this is Naturalen Schellen Prasets. This is from the beans, yeah. uh, from the, not beans, uh, from the bees. From the bees. From yeah. the bees, look. This is very, this is very healthy. Uh -huh. So this is a, a nature immunization. Uh -huh. A nature, a nature immu immunization. Natural, natural Im immunization. Which yeah. comes from the bees. And this is, uh, actually we are eating this at home. Uh -huh. And we have the grip. And actually now with this corona, all these things. Man, don't, don't go for this antibiotic. Go for these things. Uh -huh. As we, um, I, I don't want to say don't go for the antibiotic if you're really sick or something. Yeah. But give your body the chance to make things it's happening naturally. Yeah. Natural things. I mean, look at this. It's all nice. Oh, great format. Look, you have bulk of net. This is with herbs. You have bone of net. Yeah. This is from the pines. What I made. Yeah. Also homemade. Balkanski, no. Sweater net that's from a lot of flowers. I mean, look at this. This is with the honeycomb still inside. That's amazing. The honeycomb is still inside. This is, yeah. this is, and all this 